Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Jack and Daxter. The fact that you felt the need to specify I am not stalking you. It, mm, mm. <laughs> the, the fact that you, you felt the need to say that. Mm, mm. Anyway, hello. Hello. We're back on this nonsense again. Uh, fun fact, I have already streamed this series, uh, but I never recorded it because I, uh, this was like before I even thought of that as a thing to do. Um, and it was really great. It's this game, like streaming this game, was it became one of like the stand-up examples of why I fucking love streaming. I really hope that Adrian shows up because um, I remember having a extended conversation with Adrian about um, straight to DVD Disney sequels <laughs> and uh, among other things. All right. So yeah, I I have beaten this game a hundred percent before, and. Uh, we're gonna do it again. We well, maybe not like a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like we're not gonna go for. Um... I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father like... and my father's fathers failed we're, to find. We're not gonna go for like every Who last precursor world, but I want to get the one hundred and one power cells for the vast monoliths that litter our planet. How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? So how is the sound? The plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting the out of 10. Fantastic. I'm always paranoid about um, audio when it comes to uh, using the capture command. Like, ever since Resident Evil 5, I've always been paranoid. So it seems the answer because when I did Resident Evil 5, uh, I, the audio was. As with many <laughs> really crusty, really loud, it when it worked at all. With but a small act of disobedience. Hey! Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. It told us not to come here, that's why we're coming here. Specifically because we were told not to. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. A plus the channels that keep up with audio and visual. Thank you. I I do my best. I I know what I like what in the stream, and I do my anyway, best to Jack? to hit this that. This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What Eek. is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Ah! Oops. I'm not definitely find your Twitch channels that I like for a multitude of reasons. Man, Thank you! Stop. I... I... oh. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Ah! 
But yeah, I I appreciate that. I I do my best to okay. Okay. put on a good show. I'm fine. I'm fine. Tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that Same I told you not to go. Professional the island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping? Or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping. Because in my <laughs> professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has I love that. I love long that enough remark. to have a chance at returning you to your You're gonna keep yapping and you're gonna help me. Oh, I'm gonna keep yapping. Sage, but he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this Obligatory very gadget here, lady. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. <laughs> Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer. So you that's about the setup of this game. Out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find yeah, it's that definitely got the stuff, will we? The Crash like Bandicoot in goof. Again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. So that's that's about the the setup of this game. This is that this is camera? Father and I can give you advice at any camera? time during your quest. There we go. The camera got wedged. There's even an eater. Yes, it's uh, in in the Green Sage's house. Right. I need to change the camera over. There we go. So. That's about the setup for uh, for this game. Is that this is a collectathon platformer, kind of in the vein of Mario sixty four. HD's a nice change. It is a bit crusty, like the anti aliasing isn't great, and it does make it a little obvious that uh, some of the textures aren't up to par. But like it does it does make it a little crusty, but uh, as I as I always say, fidelity is temporary, art style is forever, and the art style of this game has definitely held up. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. And they you never show up in the series again until the heart racer. These idiots. Da -da. So precursor orbs function as our stars. We don't need to collect everyone in a, a region to move on, but I'm gonna. Oh my god, so much talking. Energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. We'll get to that in a second. I want to go back and get all these scout flies. So 
made this nice and easy on us by putting all of these scout flies in one spot. There we go, get all seven of them, and that's another cell. Thinking about scaling games, not too big, not too full, precursor, let's see, scale pretty perfectly, just a joy to play. Yeah, it, there's plenty to, like, do and explore, but there's no point where you're, like, looking at stuff going, what the fuck do I do now? How each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. So Blue Eco, being the energy of motion, this is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while doesn't need a map. Yeah, exactly. It's well signposted. Yeah, so anything marked with that lightning bolt is we need Blue Eco to get it open. And it just so happens there's a vent right over here. That's a Blue Eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full So where the little clusters only gave us about an eighth, this gives us a full bar. And gonna Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. gotten everything so far. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. This boggled my brain for a long time as a kid. What that means is if you get 50 or a big green one it'll heal you. I thought it meant it gives you more, like, a bigger life bar. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go. I think that's everything. Lex. Okay. Hang on, I've missed the previous rooms. I'm going to do another lap real quick. So we also have the long rolling jump. That'll come handy later. And there we go. There we are. These guys are all, all completed. Though I will say, it's it's very odd going back and playing the original, like this original Jack and Daxter, with the knowledge of what would come later, like um, in terms of like later. Both later Jack and Daxter games and uh, later Naughty <coughs> later Naughty Dog games. Yeah, it, it goes thematically. It gets weird. Good training, boys. But that's nothing. Also, yeah, the animation the is great. Everything head. is so like fluid and stretchy. We got the moves, eh, Jack? Like Just look at the way the Daxter's head ring, moves. But we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. You speak for yourself. Away. Some of us are just itching. And while you're out adventuring, Benchily. why don't you make yourself <laughs> useful? My Don Very similar tonal arc to Prince of Persia. Yeah. Head out to the far side of the starts starts kind of well, well comparatively light and fluffy. Follow takes a massive uh, goth right turn thing. in the second title, no. and then and then uh, pivots back. Get out of here. And as we said. It's one of the little uh, 
plants from Crash Bandicoot. Alright. Let's mosey. Hi, Kira. How's uh, this anti gravity jet bike coming along in our tribal society? Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A Grab Zoomer? Rule number one I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> You're very confident for someone Listen, who's just been if you need transformed. Something to keep you busy. My father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. All right. You need to get a proper shirt, lady. This way. Never seen Naughty Dog moving back to anything this light. Never see the similar treatment to the Ratchet and Clank remake. That that would be interesting. But yeah, I I agree. I don't think we'll uh, we'll ever. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dang nasty. But yeah, considering the success that Naughty Dog has found with uh, much more serious works like Uncharted and Last of Us, I don't think they're ever going to go back to. It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Well spotted. But yeah, I don't think they'll ever go back to more sort of light and fluffy affairs. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. Oh, that. You've caught that's me a smashing mustache. I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them. But I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Smashing. So, come back to you later. What about you? You got anything to say? Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. Naughty dog, you're in a bit of a creative guilt cage. Yeah. See I... See how they're not moving? I guess typecast would no be power. the word? The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys. Everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. Why well, not just use the power cell to like you're interested do, in making to power whatever it is you need to do? To my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh a very modest ninety precursor orbs. Obligatory, incredibly slimy mayor. There we go. Right. Um. Let's bumble about the village a bit first. Do you think a track four was kind of the sweet pot in terms of writing? Reach extended their grasp with Last of Us Two. Seems beyond their ability to communicate. Uh, without being able to actually sit down and talk to the developers hey, I wouldn't know what I, I wouldn't oh, know what was going on there I thought for a moment you were my muse you're what haven't you ever seen a muse before it's a little glowing squirrel about your size full of spunk 
going crazy as a lark. Oh, I can away it. slowly. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? I'm afraid we are. But yeah, like... There's... There's been a lot of... Accusations... Of... What... Um... What was going on with Last of Us 2. Like, one of them... One of the big ones that I heard was like people saying that um, I can't remember the Neil Druckmann I think was his name. One of the creative directors, one of the, sort of the big wigs at, uh, at Naughty Dog, considered the game to be his like his creative baby, and therefore would not accept any criticism. But I've never heard that backed up by anyone. No one's ever like or oh, fine. No one's ever, um, you know, no one's ever <sighs> corroborated. That's the word I'm desperately searching for. No one's ever corroborated the uh, that accusation. Hey, hi, Cannon, over here. There we go. All right, trigger. Yar. But yeah, that, that was one accusation that I heard that like it's a bit of a conspiracy theory, but this is the this is what I heard. Was um the Druckmann didn't have as much input in Last of Us One Oh you little hey, That Pelican just named a power cell. You little dick. Let's go kick some but, big bird butt. The accusation that I heard was that Druckmann did not have as much creative input in the first game as he wanted, and therefore and, oh, sorry, and also, there's a character in Last of Us 2 that kind of looks like Druckmann. Um, and that's the one that beats Joel with the, um, with the golf club. And the accusation that I heard was that that character was Druckmann's self-insert, and this was him metaphorically beating the original game to death for the crime of not being made by him. Again, that's like... That's the accusation that I heard, but it was it's never been backed up by anyone who... who would know that, you know? So, what's this? He's been an animator. I can see a world where someone like him would be very strong in that regard. I mean, I, again, I've heard lots of stories. Like, I do my best to... I'm, I'm in the games industry. You know, I, I am a game developer, more or less. But, um... The... Ah, the stories that I always hear is about producers and higher-ups who want every project to be their grand vision and stuff like that. Biff. You know, so... Yeah, um, I own. Well, I've only just gotten started in in the industry, and there's a lot I'm not allowed to talk about in terms of like NDAs and stuff. But um, but yeah, I I'm a dev. A hard time buying the golf club theory. Observed if you say very sensitive about his creative leadership. I see. But yeah, like I said, I wouldn't put too much stock in the whole golf club thing because, like I said, that's never been corroborated by anyone who would have that knowledge. It was all just like YouTube pundits being like look, I figured it out, you know. Oh, that's weird. There we go. 
block all these. But back to like the original subject was uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know what was going on with Last of Us 2. I have a lot of beef with its writing and themes, but. Oh, there you go. See that you two have Took its time. To but, uh, I don't know I would offer my why. But you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. Thanks. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> I mean, he at a journalist for making fun of Last of Us 2 being compared to Schindler's List. Same writer had covered crunch whistleblowers at Naughty Dog. Uh... I'm... I'm not sure... I would need to actually read the comparisons, though I'm not entirely sure how you would compare Last of Us 2 with Schindler's List. So, so again, Wolf texting you about a game you're not playing. Uh, look, like I said, I am. Good job. Now there we meet go. me down here by the egg. Oh right, I didn't actually talk to you in the first place about what we're doing here. I'm just autopiloting. But like I, I said before, uh, when I. We want to talk to the bird watcher and see if we scrambled that flood flood egg. Yeah, I'm going down the easy way so I don't crash. But um. I mentioned before that like the first time I played this game we went on an extended conversation about uh, Disney straight to video sequels so you know I'm not I'm not averse to having like tangent conversations there we go we good no damage I hope the poor deers okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. Oh, jeez. Thank you very much. No, no. Aren't you cute? No, 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 no! Look. Isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah! I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh. Love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Okay. Strip these cables out so we can sit back properly. Oh, right. I forgot this game had like a first person thing. But yeah. Um, for, as f for Last of Us, like. I, I'm not sure I follow how the game could be compared to Schindler's List because in terms of like their writing they're not very similar ah there we go oh hello I'm doing it. There we go. Because Last of Us 2 is, at least as far as like my knowledge, having not played the game all the way through myself, um, its writing is about the cycles of revenge and letting go. Whereas Shinder's List is about a man trying desperately to use his position in the establishment to um, do a good thing when the establishment is inherently corrupt and evil. When it came out in the hypers of Maximum, some person was like, this is Schindler's list of video games. And that person could very justifiably be made fun of. Yeah, like I said, there's not... Scoops it up again. 
I, I feel like that's a, uh, a very surface level analysis of both properties. Because it's just, oh, they're both sad. Therefore, comparable. Okay. Ah, right. I'm not going to be able to get any of that until I do the jungle switch. More in terms of actual depth as opposed to thematic crossover. <laughs> Sterling said, just wait until that guy starts reading books. Well, that's just like... Um, reminds me of that like Twitter meme of a uh, man who's only ever watched Boss Baby watching his second ever movie. Wow, getting some real Boss Baby vibes from this, you know? Alright, so in order to get up there, we first need to go down. Punch those poles up from below! Yeah, one thing at a time. Just gonna get that scout fly before I forget. Uh, I f there we go. So that's a move you don't really use a lot, is the upper uppercut. But um, I will say. I'm a little biased when it comes to these kinds of conversations because I love cultural analysis. I love to dissect media and pick it apart and, like, listen to what other people think are the core themes compared to, like, what I think the core themes are and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with just surface level, you know, if you just want to watch a movie and that's it, you can do that. So, you know, I'm not saying everyone needs to part of the joy. Well, that's the thing. That's part of the joy of, of consuming art for me. I really enjoy doing that. Some people just want to turn their brain off and watch James Bond, whereas I enjoy going really into it and, like, ana analysing the the way that everything is constructed. There's the last scout flight. Way up there. Da -da. I went to film school for five years, so I have that same sort of itch to pick stuff about. I just... Hey, seagulls! Ah. That's buzzing for kicks. But, uh... I, I, had, I did not go to film school. I did, like, media studies and stuff, but when I was in school and we had to do, like, um... media analysis, right. I fucking hated it. Because there was always, like, a right and a wrong answer. Yeah. Like, having to analyse poetry and stuff, and they'll be like, what are the major themes of the, of the story thus far? And you'd be like, oh, he's talking about recovering lost glory and the, the consequences of the past, even though none of us were around for the past and stuff like that. Yadi yadi yadi. And they'd go, no, you're wrong. Okay. Jeez, all right. Caused an avalanche. Let's check it out. And I think that's the last one. No, there's oh no, there's one more up on the tower, but I can't get. I can't get to that yet. Sounds like the internet these days. Very prescriptive concepts of what art is and isn't. Well, that was the thing. This was <laughs> this was when I was in school in 2007. You know doing English Lit for uh, A-Level is whatever the YouTube video says it is. <laughs> yeah, I have my uh, video essayist that I watch and whatever he says is law. Matt Pat has never been wrong about anything. Ugh. There we go. Blanky. There we are. So, 
what remains? Uh, need to get the tower up. I can't do that until I have gone to the jungle. So let's start heading for the jungle. But I, I feel like I should also say I'm no stranger to, to watching video essays. I watched a, a four hour long treaty on why uh, on like why uh, Fallout 4 is a better game than you give it credit for. Part of the joy of interpreting art. Yeah, exactly. It's just the H Bomber guy. Uh, no, um, many a true nerd. I do watch I do watch H Bomber guy though. That's the bird lady's place. Probably should have come down here first. Hoopa. There we go, we now have 180 orbs, which means I can go to the mayor and the uncle, and I can buy both off of those guys. So uh, you uh, oh, don't get trapped. Contribute. Objective truth on subjective things. Yeah. A, a sizable one, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my nice hat. Too. But yeah, uh, many a true nerd. If you look up, um, Fallout Three is better than you think. That's that's his most famous of the. Um, of the video essays that he's done. It's it's well worth the watch. To make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the, uh, he also did a really good video on like how to on. how to I fix Fallout 76. That was a really good. One. To good use. Cheerio, ta -ta, bye bye. Cheerio. Have fun on your expedition to the Arctic. So now we need to head for the jungle. Right, mate. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just right, resting on tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get him back into the corral? All right, if you insist. Of course, this being a PS2 game, this is a almost obligatory puzzle. Come on. In you get. I do like the touch that now uh, we've gone down to the the farm. The music has started getting a little sort of twangy, twangy steel string guitar. Oh, there's cowbell in there as well. Fantastic. Get that one in you get. Also, having a farm down on the beach is terrible. There is no stuff for them to graze on at all. This is tantamount to animal abuse. That's four, and number five is way down there. So you got the scout fly in his house here. There you are. There's two more. Where have I not been yet?
but to, to go back to what we were talking about before about like interpreting art and stuff doing that sort of thing for like video games is a lot of fun that lazy farmer because... owes us a power cell let's go talk to him but like really analyzing video games is a lot of fun at him as well because video games have the added thing of like their themes being transmitted through gameplay as well like, ludonarrative dissonance was a big buzzword a couple of years back, which people were using despite not having any understanding of what that meant. Like, uh, I, it was when Bioshock Infinite came out, if I remember right, that everyone was talking about ludonarrative dissonance and how shooting all of those people completely goes against the core what? themes of the game. Check out that funky sculpture and I'm like, but that's the point, is that Booker DeWitt is a character who is historically all about solving his problems through violence, and that's why he's in this situation. Because he can't stop. Oh, that's a, a good droning noise. I do like a statue that growls at me as I approach. First Uncharted was big on the dissonance discussion as well, I believe. Yeah, but that was for a kind of a different reason. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes all about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Or talk like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. Wait. When the view has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Next time, Gadget. Next time. So we'll need to come back once we have 240. Uh, thankfully, I think the... Um, I think the uh, jungle has enough. I do also remember there was a lot of like accusations of uh, racism in the themes of Uncharted. That like all of the all of the sort of mooks that you shot up were uh, were black. Two notes and then, she, and then went back. General dialogue was different in 2007. I, I didn't play Uncharted until quite a, like I didn't um, play any of the Uncharted games until like Uncharted 3 came out. So I missed a lot of that dialogue. I remember Resident 5 causing a stir. Oh boy, yeah, I remember that. Uh, like when I played uh, Resident Evil 5 for the stream. I I talked a lot about those kinds of accusations. And the short version was like they're very clearly going for a uh, a vibe of these these like, you know, poverty-stricken African communities are being manipulated and exploited by wealthier nations for their own gains because they have the whole business of um, that's the way that the zombie virus struck the town was these was a tricell conducting experiments but then you get into sort of the act two area where you have the literal kill like straw kilt wearing discolored savages who did who jabber and throw spears at you so it's like an interesting theme grossly let down by the means with which we are invited to interact with it so 
seemed to be somewhat inspired by Black Hawk Down, which had similar criticisms. I have not watched Black Hawk Down. I don't like those kinds of movies, so... Biff. Ah. So this thing, these yellow ones, we were talking about uh, Crash Bandicoot earlier, those are, in effect, nitro crates. They will explode if I so much as breathe on them wrong. Would have been a sensible allegory to Western capitalism, but sadly the game had other plans. I, the, like, like I say, interesting idea at, at the themes, because Resident Evil has always been kind of about the folly of rich white people and the lengths that they will go to to maintain that wealth. You know, the the entire game is started by uh, Oswald Spencer desperately trying to become a god. So, but the problem is that by that point, Resident Evil was desperately trying to up the action because Resident Evil 4 had done that and done so well. And Asia writes America like Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is such a unique facet like that though as well because people have tried to to replicate those themes but no one's ever been able to do it. That's like, um, Metal Gear Solid 2 came out during a time when writing in games... Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I want to get to the bottom of the river first. But Metal Gear Solid 2 came out in a time where writing in video games was, um, I think it was John Carmack of id Software fame said, Story in video games is like story in porn. You want it to be there, but it's not what you're there for. So, when Metal Gear Solid 2 comes out in 2007, and has themes of existentialism, censorship in the media, transhumanism, genetic, like, cultural genetics and stuff like that... Wah! That was Carmack, yeah. Post-truthism. Yeah, exactly. That game came out in 2007, and it has, like, an extended conversation about disinformation on the internet, and I'm sitting there in 20 goddamn 19, playing the game on stream, just like... <laughs> 2001! Yeah! Ugh! 2000... Ugh. And it, it's more relevant now than it ever was back in those days. Like, fucking hell. I, I, I seem to remember there was a conversation that Kojima actually had. Like, he went on stream. Not on stream, but like, he went live and was like, I never meant to call it that hard. <laughs> like... Alright, so, uh, the reason I'm just kind of lingering out here, do you want to see something that scared the shit out of me as a kid? scary. <laughs> Hate them. Hate the lurker sharks. Right. Where is the guy I'm looking for? There he is. I knew we were around here somewhere. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing ring. And now they're gobbling up my catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? 
Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch two hundred pounds Let's... of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my. That's always an interesting thing. Of just like how do you? Is want to try the challenge? How how do you do that? You know how do you make a border in a video game? There are two types of good fish to catch. All right. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Yeah, that is some okay. rusty if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, ASMR fit. Then I'm gonna voice acting. take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison boogers. the whole darn catch. Boogers. So this is kind of a weird, uh, almost like a bullet hell shooter section, which was nightmarishly difficult for me to do as a kid. Here comes a big one. Steady boy. Be on like focus mode while I do this because fuck. Hot. Oh boy, who's ready for the next hour of screen time? It'll be this. people in chat, I will be able to get to you in a second. And I'll take my eyes off of this. Fucking... Ugh. Anyway, hi Maxo, hi Arva. We're net fishing. And it's hard. Every one of the Jack and Daxter games has one of these mini games that just brings the game to a halt. Steady boy. Yar, steady now, boy. Focus mode. Alright, we're halfway there. Steady boy. Oh, they're getting faster. 150, come on. One, I was so damn close. Warframe fishing any day of the week. Where's my spear? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hold steady! Looks like you could use a bigger. You did it! 
There we go. You oh boy. Pounds of fish. I'd better a couple of land lovers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat in the village dock whenever you like. Wait, did that mean does that mean that we stole it last time? So he's just going to sit there, and he is going to cackle non-stop for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's a, it's a very intense laugh, isn't it? Uh, ah, here we go. So grab these. Jolly. And money, 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 money. Still want to do a bit more exploring. Before we uh, head into the tower. Uh, here we go. Here's the big beam they were talking about. So if we climb up this thing. If those tower doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him! <laughs> Come on. Button, there we go. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Easy enough. Okay, now we... We can follow the beam to find the next tower. Well, we'll do that later because right now we want to get into this... Into this tower. know what I'm doing, shut up. There we go. Yeet. Nice suit. So clean across the river. We go round. Weasel thrusting. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's Daxter. I'm guessing you don't know anything about this this series Arbor. but uh, that that is Daxter and he is what will be identified in later games as an otzel which is a we otter weasel Basically, short version of the plot is our 
buddy Daxter fell into some goo and got transformed into that. And uh, we know a guy who knows a guy who might be able to help. So we need to head that way. And for that, we need these power cells. Oh. Fucking nailed it. There we go. Oh yeah, it's it's very as the the title of the stream suggests, it's very Saturday morning cartoon. I can't remember who mentioned it previously, but there was uh, some talk about like an idea of them doing a Jack and Daxter movie, because people are like, people are obsessed with live action and adaptations for some reason, despite the fact that they've never been that great. And uh, oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> top Jack and Daxter content. The Uncharted director wants to do it. Yeah, and I, I mentioned uh, that a movie probably wouldn't work, but an animated miniseries might. You know. If they'd suggested that about 20 years ago, my, my suggestion would have been a sort of Adventure of the Week um, style serial, but... Well, not, not even not successful, because the Uncharted movie has been quite successful. Like, it's it's done well. The problem is they're not very good. There we go, we need to go this way first. To turn on the juice. Look at how Arcane is doing on Netflix. Yeah! Also, won't lie, my brain kind of misfired a bit, and I was like, Arcane? The guys that did Dishonored? What? <laughs> like... No, Arcane with a C. Exact same issue. Okay. Glad I'm not the only one. She's a good animator's list of games to find this spot. Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. Yeah, there must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. That's that's the sticking point. Is they need to be good. That's that's the trouble. Don't know how I just fucking nailed that, but hey. All right, mini boss. to dance around this guy, stay back, take out his buddies, and then... There's a Sony stream platform you will move for all the video game adaptations. I mean... Again, when they're good, it's not a big deal. The trouble is that, like, they're not they're usually not very good. And down he goes. Plus, Sony do technically already have a streaming platform. Kinda. Like, you can just... So now, if we jump on this dude, he poops out orbs. I mean, it's not like a... 
a streaming platform in the traditional sense, but like you can download movies and TV shows off the PlayStation Store. Alright. Done here? Connect the eco beams. Right, 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 right. The proper stream product on the content watched. Yeah. That's that's the thing, is because Apparently we have learned like we l we learned nothing from the uh, the console wars. You need to have you need to have like some kind of unique thing, you know, a good couple of hot apps to to move the system. All right, so you are facing that away. trying to implement these new recent changes. Oh, um, I heard they'd lost, like, uh, that there was like a mass emigration of, uh, of users, but I, no one's really been, no one's really been, like, specific on what they've done that, um, that has upset people. Like, I'm, I'm not entirely clear on what's, like, going on. I know they were trying to crack down on password sharing. Because again, we apparently learned nothing from from the console wars and they're trying to bring back online passes or some shit. 200,000 users down. Bloody hell. <laughs> you having fun down there? That's a confidence. Not like a campaign of people leaving it's more tidal. Oh, okay, so this is the uh, the low tide. It's just it happens to be a bit lower than than usual. Yeah. Making changes like increasing prices, having different tiers, and the cheaper tiers will have ads. Uh, no. No, no, no. New competitors entering the market. I mean, the whole reason that, Ninf that Nintendo, that Netflix was so successful in the first place was that it was like, rather than just buying cable or satellite TV, you bought, you paid for Netflix and everything was there. But now everything has its own like every company has their own streaming service that has different stuff on it. So it's it's no wonder. Netflix's own content is not very good. Ooh. Yeah. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Like I say, Netflix did well when it was just like, yeah, all the TV, like all of your TV, is on this one service. But now you've got BBC iPlayer, Good. You've uh, Channel Four on Demand, Hulu, Disney Plus. You know, everything. Everything has its own. Don't worry, we still, we still got plenty to do around the village, yeah. Hey! Let's go check out old Fish Breath's speedboat at the dock! I 
having no ads was great thing. Why add ads? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, uh -huh. you earned a power cell. Thanks, buddy. So it's about 700 per share in November, 200 today. Wow! That's a... That's a dive. Yikes, that's... That's gonna sting. If they want to do prize tiers, then you can buy cheaper tier. Not be as high quality. Yeah, if it's just like, if you want to do a cheaper tier, then like, um, add higher tiers, at higher tiers, then you get, you know, 4K. So, Oracle, Oracle. Apparently there's still a whole bunch of orbs that I haven't collected yet. Like 40 of them. Okay, well. Back to the beach for now. In the squeeze of Disney. Oh, is Warner getting their own? Getting their own service as well. Yeah, then. Not, surpri not surprising then. Netflix productions would have not known for their quality. I've not watched many Netflix originals. Most. The, the only one that I've really watched was Arcane and Castlevania. HBO Max is Warner. Ah, okay. I, I tend to lose track of, of these things. Right, that way. Use the healing fountain while I'm here. Also, I mustn't forget to... Oh, wow. I forgot that did damage. Enthusiastic cancellers as well. I don't get that. I never understood what the whole. I like. Why would you cancel a show that's doing well? I I don't get it. I apparently cannot break these metal boxes. Oh, okay. I can if I land right on them. Bonk, there we go. Incoming! Where are you? There you are. Nice, that's everything here. Is there anywhere I've not been? Well, I'm tangling with PS2 draw distance here, so... On the way! Oh, damn it! I thought I was just going to plunge down into the water. Heard that. So hang on. No, let me get caught up here. Different KPI metrics compared to your average TV distributor. For instance, Netflix measure the first show you watch when you set up an account as driver of new subs. Right. 
not many people sign up to Netflix for season four of a show. True. But I don't know, like, my, my knowledge of these sorts of things when it comes to, like, subscription services, uh, when I've been reading about um, people talking about, like, games as service, you know, um, MMO subscription-based stuff like that, is you want people in for the long haul, you know. You, you want to keep people interested, keep people paying their subscription fees. Because people generally don't cancel these sorts of things over nothing, you know? Right. Okay, I'm gonna poke around a little more and try and find the last of these precursor orbs. Where could they be? Got everything on the beach. Oh! Is there more underwater along the other side of the water? Oh, let's promote a lot of relationship, putting up 20 episodes of a show all at once. No, you wanna you wanna space that out. Here we go. I think there was something else around here. Tell him to digest and speculate. Hmm, that's true. That's very true. Okay. last couple of orbs. Got that one. Is there another one of those? Hang on. Is there another one of those hatches around? where these uh, last couple could be. Oh well. I suppose we're watching each arcane episode since I wanted to really enjoy it. I'm... I'm a real binge watcher. Like... I, I'm really bad when it comes to that sort of thing. How many old short are we? Um, Ten. Checked. Checked along the beach and didn't see them. Alright, I'll do... Hang on, I'm gonna do one more back and forth. Just, like, along the coast. We'll see. Oh, 
a funny feeling they're out by those uh, those outcrops, like over there. Oh fuck. Ugh. Nothing triggers a Pavlovian reaction in me harder than that snarl. So I've got all those. There does not appear to be anything out in the water. Oh, here we go. I never climbed this thing. Oh, that was only five! But... Hmm... I thought I was so clever. Here, not down here. Waterfall. Ah, there you are. Uh, yes. I will be doing the, uh, I will be doing the whole series. There we go. Jack two, please. I mean, I was going to do that anyway. You don't need to spend your points. Like I have the I have the whole trilogy lined up. Actually, um, I will. <laughs> Never get tired. Uh, I will say this as a, as a bit of a reminder, uh, because I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure who was around and who wasn't when I said this. Um, PS One games are now on. Are now on the docket because I finally found an emulator that works. So I can finally uh, emulate PS1 games. There we go, and that's the village completed as well. Also, hydrate and pulse check, good idea! may ask for some medieval when the time comes. Mm. It would be the original, not the PS4 remake. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will so I can't only do PS4 games because uh, I do not degrees. have a capture so card that can take HDMI cold. at the prison. Flying over mm -hmm. open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire cannon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. All right. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck. Good luck. Try not to die. Ah. All right, let's go. How this guy is just like yeah. Uh, don't know how these guys are just kind of hanging out. And speed booster. Oh, us. Awesome. Use the half turn to steer harder. Oh. 
Oh no, goodbye forever! <laughs> Thread the needle straight down. Do you play PS4 in your non-streaming days? Highly recommend Kena if you do. Yeah, I, I do have a PS4, I just can't stream it. Well, I can, because it's got uh, the streaming functionality built into it, but I wouldn't be able to use my microphone, my rig, uh, my, any of my layouts, you know. It'd just be like flat gameplay. But yeah, um, what was the game called? Bridge of Spirits, if I remember rightly? I remember a lot of people talking about it, like, uh, you know, oh, we're bringing back the PS2 games, you know, back when, back when games were good, sort of chat, and then it just went kind of quiet. And bounce. That's what you're meant to do. That's what the scout fly's done. It's like a modern pre -le precursor legacy, though a little harder. I mean, this game's already pretty hard, so... Like, some of these minigame bits can be, get pretty vicious. Solid double-A game. Well, okay. We made it! I will... I will look into it, then. And uh, the, the money situation is gradually improving, so I, I may be able to start streaming PS4 games eventually. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey, That's my like stealth in your spare time party. pick a game. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh, and it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, Whoa. we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We Giant test coil notes. looking thing. Jack, go check on the villagers and come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. All right. So now we've got fast travel. Have I got 277. Okay, let's voop on back to the previous and get the uh, the two cells out of the oracle. Uh, I do have a number of games that I would really like to stream if I could. Uh, if I could get a capture card that uh, that could take HDMI, just the trouble is, a uh, even a basic Elgato is still ninety pounds, which I don't really have at present because there's other stuff that uh, is currently jockeying for for that money. Specifically, I need a new monitor and um, no, no, this is the wrong way. I need a new monitor and uh, I also need a. Uh, a disc burner because storing these vods is starting to become untenable so I need some kind of long-term solution for your gift another power cell is yours thank you You know, it's weird that um, power cells are supposed to be like so important, 
in this game, but when you get to Jack 2 and 3, they're never mentioned. They never come up. Despite the fact that they're, like, functionally the stars of this game. You know, like, like Mario stars. But, um... They do come up again in the Turbo Dash game mode of Jack X, which was the racing game. Jack X was good fun. I, I'm up in the air on like whether or not I want to. Um... Oh. You know what I've just realised that we still haven't done? We still haven't been to Misty Bloody Island yet. We should do that. But, um, yeah. Jack X is good fun. I'm undecided on whether or not I want to stream it because I've never, I've never streamed a race again before. Plus, I think, um, no, it's only the intro song. I was going to say the game's full of copyrighted music. I'm thinking of something else. It's, it's just the, the intro song, and that's, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz. I bet. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the intro song of uh, Jack X was done by Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, I think the rest I think the rest of the music is fine. But also, if I recall, that game is really fucking difficult, so... There we go. These guys are a little tougher. They take two hits. But Jack X is very difficult, so I think my stream of that would be a lot of me just like kind of playing the same game over and over. I think something recently that had a streamer mode that changed the music. Yeah, I've seen that in sub games. I've I've seen that in a number of games. It was definitely in Guardians of the Galaxy. And if I remember right, it didn't work. Because it was supposed to get rid of all of like the all the uh, licensed music and then replace it with just like original stuff that they made for the game but it didn't yeah, the guardians game is fantastic i watched uh hang on, let me, give me a hot second because i'm gonna do a shout out so i watched another streamer called frog cats so check them out uh, they recently finished Gardens of the Galaxy, and it's it's really funny because um, then okay, so maybe some minor spoilers. Uh, cover your ears if um, followed. Fantastic, but uh, the mi some minor spoilers. Star Lord has this ability called Huddle, which calls the gang up for a like a football like meeting like huddle meeting and you have dialogue choices to to try and like inspire the gang ah fucker but you have like dialogue choices to try and inspire the gang and if you do the right one you get a um hey there we go if you do the right one, um, everyone in your team has their cooldowns reset and their damage boosted. And also you get an 80s banger play over the rest of the combat encounter. And so 
you end up with um, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue alongside Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. It's it's really cool. Dying to get to it by ever I like to 100% games and I'm in Disco Elysium at the moment. Oh my god! I'm trying to 100% that! Yuff! Good luck! I, I really need to get back to that. Uh, that's that's another game that I'm kind of up in the air on whether or not I want to stream. Because I don't think we'll make it back. That's that's another. <laughs> I lock for death. It is an expression of pain. Can't see. Can't see. There we go. Streamed it was fun but very slow. Yeah. I I have something of a self-imposed rule that I don't like. Because I, when I play games on stream, I tend to play them all the way through. So I try to avoid games that have like a natural length of a hundred hours. You know, that's why I haven't done like uh, the big RPGs of the PS2 era, like Dragon Guard or Rogue Galaxy. Because woof, we'd be here for months. On your stream, you can't really skip dialogue. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of up in the air, because on the one hand, I played, um, I played through all of day one of Disco Elysium, and I got through about half of day two, and then just kind of fell off it, but I do really want to get back to it, and, and play it properly. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Like I say, I'm kind of up in the air on whether or not I wanted to stream it. Because on the one hand, it would be really fun, because it's a really good game, and I kind of would want to put Twitch, like you guys, up in charge of what skills I take and like what thoughts I pursued. But on the other hand, it's a really long game, deals with some very heavy issues, and no. There's a lot to ponder. That's also something else. So, uh, I mentioned um, I mentioned um, Rogue Galaxy. I love the hell out of Rogue Galaxy, and I've I've beaten it like twice, uh, and the third time fairly recently. But um, back when we hit a hundred followers, I did like a marathon stream. I think I played about six or seven hours. I got to the prison. Of, um, of Rogue Galaxy, and I was like, Watch your back. debating. Remember what happened the last time we were here? Nothing good. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of debating on like continuing it. Maybe I'll do that for like. Um... It's an ambush, Jack. It's an ambush. Let them come. But uh, I maybe when I get to 200 followers, I'll do like the rest of that game. Even with ready, can we can't break these. Ah, oh, damn it! Didn't spin a second time. I'll say something really teary at the funeral, like, "Oh my god, I get changed back now!" Thanks, you dick. <laughs> But I have I have a number of ideas for what I want to do for like follower milestones, um, like Metal Gear Solid Two, Zero Fuck Speedrun was one of them. 
Uh, another was um, Bayonetta on non-stop infinite difficulty. Uh, Metal Gear Rising on Revengeance mode. Metal Gear Solid 2 would be fun. I've I've played it so many so many times. I actually, as a kid, I used to speedrun it. I got it. I got down to about four hours. And uh, I watched the world record, and apparently it, that game can be beaten in an hour and a half, assuming you like skip every dialogue, because that's where most of the runtime of that game comes from. It's fucking bonkers. But. This place gives me the willies. Let's keep you and the youths, okay? If you insist. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be fun to to just see like uh, how far I could get. We said released a PS4 5 compatible collection. They're kind of landlocked on PS3. Well, apparently it's a licensing issue that there is some uh, stock footage in the game. I can't remember exactly where, but like, you know, people always joke that Kojima loves his uh, stock footage in cutscenes. Apparently one of those was like tied to some studio or there's some kind of issue surrounding it and Konami can't be bothered to like re-edit the cutscene to get the offending footage out. So... Question mark? A lot cheaper than animating footage, yeah. Hang on, I'll go up in a minute. I'm gonna keep exploring. But yeah, there's a there's a lot going on with uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 at the moment, and I feel like if they were gonna do a, um, a PS4 PS5 release, they would want to do the entire HD collection, which is two, three, and Peace Walker. Dang it! Okay, I need to get some blue eco that's like closer. Speak of the Devil. Digital Foundry just released a video on Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay. I... Mm, I have a copy of Metal Gear Solid 4, but it's another game on that list of... Um, not really sure if I want to stream it. Because... On one hand, it's a really... They did graphic breakdowns if you're unfamiliar. I am unfamiliar, but I'll look them up. Um, but Metal Gear Solid 4 has a lot of problems. It's a, it's a good game, and I like it, but it has two key issues. One, the cutscenes are absolutely fucking unbearably long. Like, they are so long. But there is a... I can't remember what the exact number was, but it is 60-ish minutes before from, like pressing start game before gameplay actually happens, which is, when it comes to my streams, most of a session. Like, that's, you know, I, I usually stream for about two to three hours per session. But on the other hand, whenever you go between chapters in the game, it has this extended, like, technical thing where it has to Ow. yeah yeah but it has these um these things where it like installs the next chapter and that takes hours oh my god there we go magic pixel yeah it has to like install the next chapter and it it's just an hour-long video of snake chain-smoking. The Scourge of Scale. Yeah. I mean, that was the same curse that ultimately drove Metal Gear Solid V to be what it was. 
and debatably Death Stranding, but that's a conversation for a different day. Most famous unfinished game in the world. Yeah, and it's such a shame because Metal Gear Metal Solid 5 is so good. It's a really good game, it's just not finished. Didn't even touch Death Stranding. It's basic, well, it's basically like a hiking simulator. But, um, there are a number of moments where it's, like, very clear that stuff had to be cut. Like, um, the whole business with Matt Mickelson. Apparently, even he thought he was going to be in more of the game. I haven't finished the game yet, but apparently, uh, so far he's been, like, in two boss fights and a whole bunch of flashbacks that made no sense. Cannot. I can see it all over us with attractive marketing campaign, monster advertisements, dumb cooking researchers were past. That was kind of what led me to silo that can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Doctor. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. Thank you, Samos. But uh, that was what ultimately led me to only buying it when it was on sale like, ages later. And that's not even, like, mentioning the, uh... all the dumb fluff. Yeah, like, one weird writing theme, quirk, question mark? I don't really know what to call it, but uh, there's a... St oh, bugger it. There's a, a certain aspect... Yeah. No? Okay. Dead. But there's a certain quirk of the, uh, of the writing that tries way too hard to make deliveries the most important thing in the universe you know because the writing is trying to make what Norman Reedus is doing the center of the plot and it to be this kind of grand world shaping event and I'm just like no I'm delivering a pizza like literally there's a there's a, a whole chain of missions where you have to deliver pizza before it goes cold, like full on 30 minutes or less kind of affair. And you have to keep it flat and level so the topping doesn't the toppings don't slow. But the the game is just like you're creating something incredible, Norman Reedus. I hasten to say Sam, because that's my name and that always like bends my head a little bit whenever people uh, whenever people in the game refer to Norman Reedus' character. But they're just like, yes, by delivering these packages, you are helping reshape America. And I'm like, why would I want to do that? A bit of grievance with how Hideo writes women. Oh, God. Oh, God, Hideo. The way he writes women, you'd wonder if he's ever met one. go into it and some of the ghost baby mother stuff getting a bad case of the eye rolls. Yeah. Mama's entire character there's a character called Mama, by the way, and it's dumb. But um her entire like arc is really dumb. Like her her whole arc is really, really stupid.
somebody somebody actually pointed out to me that um, Kojima likes to write women characters who are conventionally attractive but have had something horrible happen to their bodies that their face is completely unblemished but something has happened to their body like um, the boss in Metal Gear Solid 3 has that huge scar that goes up her midsection. Paz gets her like guts torn open in Ground Zeroes. And Fragile, because of fucking course there's a character called Fragile in Death Stranding, um, got like caught in the weird time accelerating rain that's in, in the game. So she's like 90 years old from the neck down. And the, oh, the Beauty and the Beast unit. Oh my god. That's one of the reasons that I really want to stream Metal Gear Solid 4 is because of that stuff. Because, man, the Beauty and the Beast unit. Also, let me, let me back up on chat. Some traditional attitudes towards motherhood mixed with a lad who grew up watching James Bond. Yeah? I mean, Japan as a culture is just generally very traditionalist, so that's not surprising, but... Yeah, I, I do wonder, like, how much of that is the case. The fan and service unit. Only when you get to phase two, though. Other than... Well, actually, no. A lot of them, even in Phase 1, are uh, still very fat and They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad, and I'll teleport it back. Thank you. Also, hi, Adrian. Welcome. You may recall that I uh, streamed this game back in 2019, and uh, we we had a conversation earlier about the conversation that we had when I streamed this game the first time. Two different kinds of fan service. I mean, uh, even even in their like primary, you know, boss fight form, you know, before you before you get to phase two, they're still very fan servicey. Remember this and boobies. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah, the uh, the memory fan service in the like, hey, this is the thing that you remember, right? Okay, return news to the sculpture and. We're still missing a whole heap of scout flies. Uh, what is the straight, the best straight to DVD Disney movie? Um, Atlantis Returns, because it, it was going to be an animated series, and they made like eight episodes of it. But then the animated series got cancelled, so uh, they just took all of the episodes they had made and turned it into a two-hour movie. And it's really good because you get to watch a snake oil salesman get eaten by um, Native American dust monsters. It's really, it's actually like really fucked up. Aladdin 2. That's the oh, goodbye forever. That's the one that had Aladdin's dad in it, wasn't it? And he was like weirdly hot. So the other three is genuinely good. Haven't watched that. Haven't watched it. But uh, the reason the reason we say that, Adrian, is because you may recall that when I played this game before, uh, when I played this game the first time back in 2019, which I had uh, styled as the year of nostalgia, um, we uh, we had that long talk about straight to DVD Disney movies. I can't remember any of the specifics because it was nearly four years ago, but I need to get back into the arena so I can get all those orbs. Pardon me, gents. I was just leaving. Yeah, Disney were all about, like, the weird animated TV series. There was, like, Emperor's New School and the Hercules one that I can't remember the name of. But that was like, there was like the bit in Disney's Hercules the movie that has uh, 
perk having his like training montage where he gets buff. And then um, the animated TV series takes place during that, where it's like thin, kind of young weedy Herc, uh, still training up. I don't think it had Danny DeVito in it, but... I'm not a fan of Ember's new school, to be honest, kind of pointless when you have to undo Cusco's character development from the movie. Never watched it, uh, really. I, I never got, like... Um, I never got cable as a kid, so I could never watch, um, like, the Disney Channel or Cartoon Network or anything like that. So, the only access I had was, like, whatever got ported over to Channel 4. As part of the Hercules TV series was Hades. I mean, that's just... That's just generally correct, because Hades is really cool. Like, the Disney's... Disney's interpretation of Hades is just is just really cool. Once you got mad because the Romans called him Pluto, I wouldn't call him Dog Pluto. <laughs> Fantastic. So crossover where Hades resurrects Jafar. Okay. Interesting. I still really like his um, uh, Kingdom Hearts like iteration, where he's talking with Auron from Final Fantasy X. Do you know who I am? I am the Lord of the Dead. <laughs> then it's no wonder nobody wants to die. Just wow. Hercules met Aladdin as well. Man! Kingdom Hearts had such potential, they fucking squandered it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I love Kingdom Hearts, but man, I have some beef with their writing style. Oh, House of Mouse! Fucking loved House of Mouse. It's really good because I, I liked the whole dynamic of like. This is Mickey and the gang desperately trying to run a show. You know, they're, they're, they've got an operation to to run here. House of Mouse has better character chemistry than all the Kingdom Hearts. I, the, the thing is, is that um, in in House of Mouse, it has the overarching theme of these guys are trying to run a show. You know, there, there's a... There... It's a... There's a word for those kinds of clubs where it's like you get dinner in a movie, kind of. Never play Kingdom Hearts, but I like the idea of it. I am a lifelong fan, fan of Kingdom Hearts. And I'm very much in the Aaron Hansen, like, constantly complaining, but re I actually really like it kind of field. But... But yeah, House of Mouse has the benefit of there's a unified theme of we are trying to put on a show and there's like a system here, you know, we're running a, a dinner and a, and a show kind of uh, entertainment establishment. Whereas Kingdom Hearts is Sora has his own entire like separate arc that is broadly unconnected to everything else that's going on, you know, in, in the worlds that you visit. Like the worlds that you visit have... Uh, have their own thing going and whatever that is usually provides like a little clue to the story at large but there's no unified like there's no unified thing going on which is why the character chemistry is kind of a bit flat Lilo and Stitch series had crossovers with Kim Possible, American Dragon and the Proud Family nice Man, whatever happened to all that? The best that, like, the best that we got was the the princess crossover. Like, the best that we got recently was the the princess crossover in um, what do you call it? 
uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Why are you making me feel old? <laughs> they all kept their art styles. Okay, that's cool. That I can dig. Okay, where the... <clears throat> We're missing one... We're missing one scout fly. Where the hell is it? I'm gonna go and try scaling that boat again. I guess now that I think about it, Disney... Disney haven't really been doing a whole lot of, like, their their old-style animated movies for quite some time. Like, when was the last hand-animated, you know, traditional animation movie that Disney did? Because I genuinely don't remember. It's mostly been Pixar. Let's scale up this thing again and see if I can find where this last bloody scout fly is. Let's Wait, what? Hang on, I need to read that again. Give me a sec. PlayStation 2 is older than the NES was when the PS2 came out. Oh no! Oh, that hurts. Why you gotta do that? When was Princess and the Frog? That was a ways back, wasn't it? Okay. Nothing up here. Tell you what, though, um, the uh, the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer has has piqued a a amount of my interest because I am intrigued to see like now that Disney own Marvel and Star Wars, that would be fucking fascinating. I want to see. Sora beat the tar out of Thanos. Because people who have... People who have already kind of identified that Star Wars is going to be part of uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 because they've like... They spotted like a single frame in the trailer that had an 8080 foot in it. fly. Not over here. Aha. There we go. Finally. Oh, has it actually been confirmed? See... My understanding was that um, people just like frame by frame went through the went through the trailer and just found like there's like a single scene that has kind of a foresty look going on and in the top corner you can just about see a mechanical leg that kind of looks like an ATAT. Kingdom Hearts fucking with us. I can't imagine Kingdom Hearts fucking with anybody because that game is that series is so sincere in everything it does. Like, Kingdom Hearts... Kingdom Hearts never really pokes fun at itself in any of its iterations. Like, it's all, as I say, very sincere, very, like, no, this is happening. You know. Hey. 
Now, one thing I would be intrigued about is, um... Where the hell's the boat? Uh, one thing I would be intrigued about is, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 Remake had kind of, uh, parallel development. I would be fascinated to see what lessons they have learned from, uh, from that. Because that's kind of the reason that, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was... I wouldn't say bad because I really enjoyed it, but like definitely not as good as it could have been. Was that a lot of the uh, the sort of higher end creative team were busy with Final Fantasy VII remake. So I'm intrigued to see like if they've learned anything from FF7. Why would I put that leg there? There's only two reasons: Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts 4 are an elaborate joke. It's just like that Star Wars machine, it's spot on. Yeah. You have narrative relevance for the Disney world. But also, well, like, um, need, needed more narrative relevance for the, for the Disney worlds. And none of the none of the Final Fantasy stuff was in it at all. You never got to go back to Hollow Bastion. Like, all the... I'm fairly certain that Cloud and Aerith aren't in the game at all. Which is fucking bizarre, considering how, like, integral they were to previous titles. Uh, but also... I feel like the, the story just kind of needed another pass anyway. Like, I feel like... If I... What are you to do I want to talk to you. you have power cells to collect. Leave me alone. I didn't mean to talk to you. you have them. But, um... Like, fuck, I've ruined my train of thought. There we go. If I hadn't known that Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005, I would have said that Kingdom Hearts 3 had been rushed. Because that game felt so rushed to me. You get Final Fantasy Hollow Bastion cutscenes in the DLC. I never played the DLC. I have it, but I never played it. Because I have no earthly clue how you even access it. It was bizarre. I beat the game and it just like, it was just like, congratulations, that's it. I don't know. But anyway, that's enough of me ranting because my, <laughs> my voice is starting to go again. But uh, we'll be back again with more of this. Not tomorrow. We'll be back again on Friday. The is pretty bloody expensive still. Oof. I just got like the full, the full collection on uh, on sale, so I have like all of them on PS4 now. But uh, so let's move on back to the booth while I talk. So uh, we will be back, not tomorrow. Uh, we will be back again with Jack and Daxter on Friday, because tomorrow we will be playing Warframe. But uh, we will be playing Warframe Angels of the Saruman update. Oh boy. Because uh, all of y'all really liked it when I played New War. And I have been intrigued about where that whole business with the split timelines thing is going on. I, I have a freshly extended Pepe Sylvia board. I have new red twine and, and thumbtacks. <laughs> so I'm very intrigued to... Uh, see what other kind of time fuckery nonsense ends up going on with uh, the void. Until then, see you tomorrow night. Good night, and much love.